The alarm bells went off for Bill Tomlinson when he got this text message from Walmart in French. Thing is, Tomlinson doesn't speak French and hadn't ordered anything. So I thought, what the heck is that? He logged on to his Walmart.ca account and discovered fraudsters were using it and his credit card on file to place orders. Two orders for $500 dumbbells and two more for $250 Apple TVs. Walmart had cancelled the first three on its own, but the last order was still active and had just been shipped. Tomlinson let Walmart know. Two days later, he was told the product had been delivered to the fraudster, and he was on his own to try and get his money back. Walmart basically said, look, the product was ordered, it was paid for, it was delivered, there's nothing more for us to do. He says Walmart told him he should deal with his bank to see if it would reverse the charge. Fraud attacks on retail websites and mobile apps are way up, a 45% spike since the pandemic started, according to one study. Vanessa Ayafola is an independent financial fraud expert. Any corporation, any company that is going to offer online retail services is responsible for protecting the security of that account. Walmart says there was no breach of its systems and Tomlinson's account was taken over by a bad actor who gained access through the customer's login credentials that were compromised at some point prior to the transactions. Tomlinson got the company to freeze his account and says he'll now make changes to the way he buys things online on any website. One of the things I've learned from this is that if you have any um, retail, electronic retail purchases, and you have stored your credit card information on those accounts for ease of purchase, take them off. After hearing from GoPublic, Walmart gave Tomlinson a refund. He says he's grateful, but he's not sure if he'll use the website to shop again. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.